Yo, Schmoville, what it do? We're in San Diego, just filming stuff. We just got here after a two and a half hour drive. Say what's up. Yo, the whole crew. Yeah, the whole crew's here. Oh hey, how's it going? We were we were talking about Goonies. I go hey. Hi. And I'm here with the unmasked Bobby Finstock, aka Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Bruce Wayne. Yeah. What's up? Oh well, I, I can't wear the mask during the, in the morning. Yeah. Not till we get on the Comic Con press, uh, right? You know, territory. Uh -huh. It's weird. Yeah. Is that real? Is that real? Yeah. Ah, cute. Some, uh, it wasn't geek. cute. It wasn't cute at all. Yeah. It was disgusting. Okay, go ahead. You know what? You gotta look. Geek vagina is different than, you know, non geek vagina. So that's what I'm looking for. Can you explain the difference? Uh, yeah, I mean, non geek vagina is just all shaved. Uh, geek vagina has like a stormtrooper uh, carved into it. What's the difference between geek vagina and nerd vagina? Uh, skin tone. We got Davy Jones over there. We got the Flying Dutchman. Yeah, that was uh, that's the ship that is in the movies. Is this the uh, is this the parking garage where they filmed the beginning of the Dark Knight? Yes, it is. We're here. We are here. We started from the bottom. Now we're here. Damn right. Nice. It's a shagging wagon. What's up guys, I'm here at Comic Con and look what I found. Looks like we got Black Widow. So what's your name? My name is Kelly Marie. And what made you decide to do Black Widow today? I actually really like Scarlett Johansson and her character is Black Widow, so I kind of off of her. Safe to say, is she, is she like your favorite Marvel character? Probably, yes. Probably, yeah. So yeah. let's say Scarlett's filming the movie. Okay. She breaks her ankle. <laughs> oh my god, we need a new Scarlett. I would do it in a heartbeat. You would do it in a heartbeat. heartbeat. You feel like you could fill in, no problem. Absolutely. Can you give me like a karate chop or some sort of movie you would do? Oh, I could. You want me to do something? Yeah, give me a little karate move. Yeah, you know what? I'm pretty impressed. I I'm telling you, Thank I think you, you can do it. Uh, so what are you doing here at Comic Con? I am actually an artist. I do Star Wars and Avengers art on Etsy. Star Wars and Avengers art. Star Wars and Avengers art. I love what I do. Then I never have to work a day in my life. How many guys have proposed to you in the last 24 hours? None! No, what? Are you going to be the first? I will be the first. If you do Star Wars and Avengers and you dress as Black Widow, that's yeah. three of my top things that I wanted a woman. Sign still delivered. What's going on, Schmoville? It's about... I want to say 11.30 maybe? Yeah, it's about that. 11.30. Uh, we got our wristbands, which means uh, people that we made friends with um, are going to wait in our spot so we can go back get some food. Uh, hey, hi, how you, uh, how you feeling, JT? How you doing? Uh, we, good, haven't, we haven't slept in about 40 hours. I want to say it's a <laughs> good 40 close, hours. We've close been a, on 40. Close on 40. Um, uh, working like dogs. Just uh, in the line. It's not really working, but you know, just sitting in line. But it's tough, man. Yeah, we're sitting in line uh, for hours on the floor, ground. And uh, meanwhile, the rest of the Schmills, I believe, are at the IGN party. I think they're at the IGN yeah, party. Yeah, it's great. Because, which, you know, that's that's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Who, I mean, you guys uh, are in here! Damn right! <laughs> so, anyway. That was Ken Nepsock, I think everybody. that was pretty sure that was that Ken Nepsock. Ken Nepsock. <laughs> All right, Shimobile, I'm, with, I'm here with Khaleesi herself. Say hello, Khaleesi. Hi. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. I, I gotta ask you. Okay, so the last season, spoilers, by the way, if you guys haven't seen this, uh, you gave away your dragons, pretty much. How, do you, how did you feel about that? How was that? It was a hard decision, but yeah. it was something that needed to be made. Yeah. To, 
you don't have to to keep the people happy. You don't want your dragon to go around right. eating people. Yeah, of course. Obviously, you miss them. That was like that was like locking away your puppies. That was heartbroken. It was heart. Yeah, it must have been. So, so one of the things that I'm, I criticize the show about. I love the show to, to death, but it seems like you get away with a lot of stuff. It seems like you got it a little easy. You got your politics going on here and there, but some bad's got to happen to you. I mean, come on, you can't be the only good one that good things are happening. So, how do you, how do you feel about that? How do you feel like you you uh, how you how you're doing in the show right now? Well, let's see what happens in next season. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you think you'll get your dragons back? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Perfect. I know it's dark, but look at it. all these people are just sitting in line sleeping. So how did you guys experience at Comic-Con this year? It's good. So far we've gotten everything out of the way. We wanted the magic cards. So I got I got two sets of the magic cards, so we got that out of the way. Nice. And I've been going to a lot more panels, a lot more Hall H stuff. I'm actually camping out this year. Nice. It's pretty sweet. How about you? Man, you know, uh, Comic-Con is an interesting thing, man. You know, I love and hate it. I love all the new and cool things that come out, but I also hate all the damn things we have to do. Like exactly. This, like this line right here. One day I'll be as cool as you know Stan Lee, and I can walk up to anywhere and just get in, right? Yeah. I'll be I'll be on the other side of the panel, and I'll just wait. For you. You're gonna moderate my panel, right? I'll moderate your panel. What about uh, what was your favorite event about today? Honestly, I was more psyched about uh, yesterday with The Rock. That, oh, that, cool. was, that was my big highlight of this weekend. Just just you know him coming out, being oh. a surprise. You know, let you find the crowd as, you, as usual it does. It's pretty cool. You know? How about you? Uh, how, about, not, how about not today? Just your favorite moment so far at Comic Con. I don't know. It feels like this Comic Con is going a lot smoother than last year. Yeah. I've already got all my exclusives that I want, and I've also seen a couple of cool panels on the way, which is like more than I can say for last year. Nice. We got a nice blanket and some pillows. Um, yeah, me and JT, we, we are me and the good sir. We shared some. Uh, we shared the, the blanket together, didn't we? I got a corner, barely blanket. I. Hey man, there's always that one person in the relationship that's gonna take all the covers. Sorry. Uh, it's okay, sweetie. I'll get you some pancakes later. Syrup. I want syrup. Syrup. Uh. JT. What's up? We're about to go into Hall H. How are you feeling right now? Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm really excited for that. Walking Dead. Don't really care. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm really excited because we just we were just talking. We're like, what's Warner Brothers has? Mad Max Fury Road, I believe. Um, I think he meant 20th Century Fox. What did I say? You said Warner Brothers. Oh no, I thought maybe it isn't that. I thought it said Warner Brothers. Oh, maybe it is Warner Brothers, but still, he got it wrong. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not going to sit here and wait for it's you, one, sir. No, you're right. It's 20th Century Fox. I'm on no. three hours of sleep in two days. Not everything <laughs> is computing. Isn't that normal, though? No, it's not. No. What's up? Can I ask All right. Uh, yeah, I'm about to go to Hall H right now. Uh, like you said, AMC's uh, Walking Dead, uh, Game of Thrones. 
Uh, I don't care so much about Walking Dead, but Game of Thrones, obviously. I'm actually interested. There's a, a panel called Sneak Peek. Don't know what it is. Uh, hopefully, we were sneaking and peeking at something good. Uh, and then you said 20th Century Fox. Uh, we could see maybe some X-Men stuff. Maybe we might see Brian Singer. Maybe he's going to be confirmed for Apocalypse. Don't shake your head back there. It's my second. Brian Singer's got bigger issues than Comic-Con right now. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to try to get Lena Hetty's number. It's probably not going to work, but uh, if anything, the one person's number I can get is George R.R. Martin, because that guy is a freak. It's the first time we've been moving since... Actually, we've been there for a couple hours, and we're finally going in. Yeah. Look at that. People breaking down the fence and stuff. The one I was looking at is the one I know, right? Then separately. We made it after all. What's up, Schmoville? We're here with Adam. Uh, it is late in the game. It's a little haggard style filming that I'm doing right now. So, how have you experienced your uh, Comic Con this, this weekend? It's been great, man. It's, obviously, there's a lot of people out here as usual. Uh, Hall H is a huge turnout, like normal, completely packed. Everyone is here, you know, here to see Batman, Superman, Sin City, Avengers. So, it's, it's good. It's been good so far. What's been your favorite panel so far? Uh, man, there's been so much good stuff this whole weekend. Uh, I would have to say, probably. Probably the highlight so far was the Batman Superman stuff that they showed. Cool. It was really cool to see some of the new footage, but you know we'll see what Marvel has in store for us tonight. It was great seeing the footage, but were you disappointed in not seeing their game plan? I mean, it, it, they're kind of just all over. I mean, I, I love the Batman Superman stuff, but that was just kind of it. What else? Yeah, I, that's actually what I was hoping for. I was hoping they were going to come out and not only show us footage, but bring out the entire cast and hopefully finally tell us who the Rock was going to play and maybe give us a glimpse to what their plan is because we literally have no idea and they're being really silent about it which which sucks because I think a lot of people were hoping that they were going to actually reveal a bigger plan and they didn't which I feel like they missed an opportunity but hopefully yeah. next year. Like turn to spaghetti and they shit themselves <laughs> right at the very end. Yeah, close. So yeah, uh, we don't have to really wait in Hall H line today, which is a gem uh, for us. For us, sympathants, 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 sympathants. Stupid idiots that, uh, that are part of the show. That uh, we waited a good couple of long hours on Friday. Thursday. See, that's how out of it I am. And uh, we get to actually rest in our hotel. JT gets to actually see his hotel today, um, which is nice. Uh, there are any cockroaches, not too many. Maybe after he stays there, I don't want to say that. I, I have to keep respect to the good sir. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to sleep. So, uh... What's up, guys? Uh, it's day three of Comic Con. I've had a hotel room for three days. This is the first time I'm actually seeing it. As you can see, these beds <laughs> have not been slept in. Uh, we've been sleeping on the floor, the grass mostly, some pavement. 
Uh, we're working on the what? What? what maybe in the sixty hours, we maybe got five hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. Did you say, Copster? Yeah. Give Sound or take. about right. Yeah. Give or take a decimeter of a cinema. I'm gonna sense. sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. I don't know if I'll ever wake up. <laughs> it might be. I might be going into a coma right now. Do you want? Can I demonstrate them what you do when you first come into a hotel room? Sure. Go ahead. Here, wrap it up for me. Get some. Get some space. All right. Here we go. You see, you, you see, Schmoville. When you stay in a hotel room, you gotta christen it, and the way you christen it may not be like how you do it with Josh McCuga, and you wreck the place. You gotta do it kid style. And that's how you do it. He hasn't slept much, people. He hasn't slept much. <laughs> Alright, so you guys just came out of Hall H with me. Uh, you guys saw the Avengers Age of Ultron. What did you guys think of the footage? It was freaking epic, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. I, I was disappointed that they, that they didn't uh, show it again. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> right? One more time. Oh my god. It was worth a 13 hour wait. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, we were there since 3 p.m. Nice. 3 p.m. in the hot sun. And then laying on cement. It was all worth it, baby. First of all, the entire cast came out, mm -hmm. so it was amazing to see each individual one right. as they came out. Mm -hmm. Robert Downey Jr. is hilarious. So as hot. Always. So hot. Um, but actually, my personal favorite was Paul Bettany. Yeah, he is, awesome. Um, sort of an unknown star, I would say, to most people, but yeah. in my opinion, he's one of the better um, sort of unknown English stars as well. Awesome. And I'm really, really excited to see what he's going to do. And so, as comic book readers, there were some, it, what seemed like pretty iconic moments in that trailer. What, what are you guys' thoughts on that? It's gonna be epic if Ultron leads directly into Thanos, that it just all ties together instead of two separate villains. It yeah. Kind of connect the whole universe. It's crazy. Probably the most epic moment for me was seeing the um, unveiling of Thanos. Oh, that was great. That, that was incredible. Was just incredible. Um, they've been hinting at it for what three yeah. years now. Yeah, years, yeah. Something like that. So, crazy. but but actually seeing it but is seeing, one thing. Well, seeing you know the preview on screen and then seeing the actor come out. That's I'm really interested in that because I'm not too big on. Uh, 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 comic books that much, but do you think Ultron's going to be working with Thanos eventually, or is it? Do you think this is going to be completely different from each other? The whole technology part, it's probably going to get Thanos' attention even more. Okay. Just, yeah, it's going to be. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale, uh, uh, we here on uh, Schmoes know uh, we talk, we scale stuff from uh, out of five Schmoes. That's how we rate stuff like movies, TV shows, and all that. Out of how out of five Schmoes, how many Schmoes would you give it? I can let's give it some five five snows being the best. Yeah, absolutely. Five, five out of five? Snows. Awesome. All day. Awesome. Perfect. Definitely a six. Six? Oh, Gotta that's never been above. that's never been done before, but for you it, we can make that above. exception. I know, I know. Six? I speak lover there, but um, That's incredible. No, seriously, five out of five all the way. Um, just the amazing cast that they put together. Awesome. I think we'll show everyone what they can truly do in this universe and more to come. All right, Shmobo, we're here with Harley Quinn and the Punisher. How, how was you guys' experience so far here at Comic Con? Fun. Yeah, yeah fun? there's a lot of stuff even out here without having to buy a ticket. Um, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of things like the anti protesters, they're really interesting. <laughs> like Deadpool holding up a blank sign. Did yeah, you guys see the uh, Godzilla one? Yeah, was that, was that was great. I like that one. Yeah, not yeah. a fan of the Jesus ones, but Godzilla, but I'm yes. a fan of. Yeah. Alright, so right, Shmova, we are here with Link, the one and only Link from The Legend of Zelda. Big fan, love your work. Uh, so, how many years have you been coming to Comic Con? Is it your first year? Oh, no, it's uh, got to be in 14th, 15th. Wow, year. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. incredible. You're a veteran. Have you become as Link every year, or are you different characters? Uh, different characters this year. Brought Link back. Uh, awesome. Was, uh, Link, uh, I think year five. Oh, nice. So, uh, Coming out of retirement. To, had to re, yeah, had to revamp Shield. him. <laughs> Got uh, it get, all. Get all the details right, and uh, yeah, no, it was a great experience. Uh, everybody loved it. Awesome. Loved being him. So. so that's cool. So what what was your favorite moment uh, this year at Comic Con? Did you get in inside of the uh, halls at, by any chance? Oh no, I didn't get into any of the halls. Uh, luckily, you know this this line for Hall H, I, I avoided. Uh, but no, you know what? Uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, everybody on the floor, uh, getting to see the True Blood panel. Cool. Uh, getting to see uh, just just everybody having a great time. Yeah. You know, one big nerd prom. Getting dressed up 
up this year. Do you guys, is this your guys' first year? Uh, this is my first year here, but we dress up a lot. Okay, oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. What, so what are some of the other, oh, go for it, yeah. I, I've been here one other time. One other time, and did you dress up that time? I did, but I wasn't as good. Who would you guys, who'd you dress up as? I was just um, like a Union soldier with a futuristic gun from this comic book that me and my friends made. Oh, cool, right on, man. Oh, you're looking awesome right now. I'm digging the blood. Both of you guys digging the blood, digging the Harley Quinn, digging the Punisher. And so, are you guys going to come back next year? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Awesome. And who would you guys dress up as next year? I'm probably just going to go with a better Harley. I dress up like Harley a lot. Oh, that's um, cool. I, who's, definitely my character. Who doesn't love Harley? You know yeah. what I mean? Can, can you do the Harley voice? I can, but I'm really embarrassed when I do it. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, come on. Don't be embarrassed. Do I it. Can't. Please. No. For me. Do for me and Punisher. Please. He will punish you if you don't. Next year's Comic Con. You're obviously coming, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Who are you going to dress up as next year? Oh, you know what? That's yet to be seen. That's to we'll be seen? See. Oh, you can't tease that. You can't leak that right can't now. Can't tease huh? that right now. All right, cool. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, my, my full name is Ryan Reynolds. Oh, so <laughs> you're, you're with not, that. You got makeup on right now. You're not the Ryan Reynolds, right? I'm no, not, I'm trying yeah, to like... well, a little shorter in real life. But I will <laughs> say this uh, you know, uh, Deadpool might make a, a resurrection. We, 2015, we'll see. Smallville, look out for Deadpool next year. Thanks, buddy. Do it. Don't you want to rev up your Harley? Ah, okay, there you go. We got something. Good, but... Awesome. The Gambit. <laughs> How do you feel that Channing Tatum's gonna be playing you? Playing who? Playing you. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're not even a Gambit fan then. Come on.